we shall discuss some more MVC routing exercises. Let us now proceed. This is our register routes function. To this we have added one root default controller action ID. Default value of controller is home. Default value of action is index and ID is an optional parameter. This root we already have added by default like in the past days we have been seeing. To this we have added one more root called block. We have added another parallel statement here roots dot map root. So to roots collection we added one root called default then another has been added parallel to it here. Here the default value of the controller is block. The default value of the action is MVC and year is a parameter. Its default value is 2000 and month is a parameter having a default value of Jan. So controller action year month blog by MVC by 2000 by Jan. So we have added one more root to this. When a user types something in the address bar, first of all it try uh, ASP MVC tries to match it to this. If it succeeds, then it doesn't go any further then it executes the action and returns the result to the caller. If this one is unable to match then it goes to this one. And corresponding to this root a controller called blog has been added having an action called MVC and taking parameters like this. Another controller was added. This controller is called the block controller. This has a function called MVC that returns a string and takes three arguments year, month and ID. and it returns a formatted string year is 0 so whatever argument is coming in the year will be passed here what is coming in the month will be passed here and what is coming in the ID will be passed here so apart so this means your problem has two roots and two controllers one is the home controller, the second is the block controller. Now we will discuss some exercises. The question is if the user types blog mbc2009 in the address bar then what will happen? Ok. The call comes here. The first is controller. It says this one can be a controller. This one is a controller. 